Hello guys! Well, this video is a tribute to Sabine Smith who passed away on March 16th at 51 years old after a long battle against cancer. Uh, for those who don't know her already, she was known as the Queen of the Green Hell and uh, she was an official driver of uh, BMW and Porsche. Most of you will remember her for the epic Top Gear challenge uh, where she tried to do a lap on the tourist version of the track uh, in less than 10 minutes. In the first attempt uh, with Richard Hammond, uh, she managed to do a lap in uh, 10 minutes and uh, 24 seconds. In the second attempt without Richard Hammond and uh, with a slipstream of a Dodge Viper, she did a lap in 10 minutes and 8 seconds. So yeah, in uh, both attempts, uh, she failed the challenge. In this tribute video, I'm going to replicate both attempts uh, with exactly the same Ford Transit, equipped by, with a stock uh, 135 horsepower diesel engine. Well, since the first straights and corners I knew already, it wasn't uh, an easy challenge. In fact, the soft suspension and the low grip tires aren't made for sporty driving style. The van is quite unstable and rebounds a lot on curbs and bumps, not to mention the very low speed and acceleration. The max top speed in my first attempt was just 168 km per hour. I mean, <laughs> even my real car is faster than that. You can't imagine the frustration when when you drive a very slow car on straight. Anyway, I tried to keep my patience and finish the lap. Finally, I managed to make a lap with a stock for transit in 10 minutes and 22 seconds and 99. Not bad. But uh, considering the challenge is to go under 10 minutes, I must improve my lap by 23 seconds. And trust me, when you drive at the limit, that's a lot. So I called uh, two friends to help me to complete this challenge. And to make the challenge even more realistic, uh, we used a red Dodge Viper as Lipstream car, exactly like the Top Gear's event. Do you think I'm able to complete the Sabine's challenge? That's what happened. I reduced the fuel charge and decreased the, the camber and made several attempts to improve my skills. And now, thanks to the constant slipstream, uh, uh, my van should be faster. Yeah, okay. <laughs> The Dodge Viper is a low car, while my transit is pretty high, so I don't know how much useful will be the slipstream. But hey, still better than nothing. <laughs> Me here, I really need your slipstream. Very good, go, go, go. Perfect, this, this, this uh, distance is perfect. Being the slipstream car isn't easy neither, because you have to be constantly close to the van in front of it to give your slipstream, but without uh, slowing it down. You have to watch constantly at your mirrors.
thing is, as soon as I touch the gas pedal, I get far away. <laughs> yeah, stay at constant speed. Come on, closer, closer. I need you. I need you. Come on. Okay. In fact, in some parts the slipstream makes a good difference. My top speed in my first attempt in this part was 168 km per hour. With slipstream I did 173 km per hour. You think it's just a modest difference, but trust me, at low speeds 5 km per hour means a lot. Come on, boy. Come on, come on. <laughs> you got this. Come on, you got this. We added a Porsche 911 to simulate a bit of traffic, considering the real Top Gear event featured traffic. But uh, we added it mostly to show you how fast is the Porsche compared to my van. And obviously the difference is astonishing. <laughs> By the way, we are approaching the carousel part and despite my Ford Transit is very slow, I'm sweating because I really want to win the challenge and because it's hard to keep this van on the track.
Don't worry, ah. just say it and I'll floor it out. Okay, stay close to me, stay close to me! Come on! No! Five. Finally I failed the challenge as well. I needed six seconds but I couldn't do better than that. I guess this challenge must remain unbeaten in saying of respect of for Sabine. I hope you liked this tribute and see you in my next video.